pew, 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 pew. No, I don't want to be stealing from PewDiePie. Um, let's try to do something that's uh, more related to my channel, kind of. Let's just jump right into this, shall we? Alright. Onto the video. So back with another video. This it might be a bit different from my regular content. Yes, it is. Um, I'm going to be... I have my instrument over there, and I will be recording another video after this one. So if you're wanting a music video, expect one a bit later after this. But uh, I hope I can make this a series, if you guys leave a like and stuff like that. Uh, so... Let's just jump right into this. So the first thing, um, first thing I want to talk about is the thing that's going to harm everyone, and the thing that happened two years ago, the apocalypse. Yeah, the apocalypse caused by a ginger-looking ass. Uh, um, yeah, he made a he made a case saying that there is a alleged pedo ring. Well, there is, but you don't have to delete, you don't have to go, there's a Peter ring, there's, yep, there's a Peter ring, there's a Peter ring. I know where to fix it. Let's get rid of the ads. Let's get Disney to pull ads. Let's get Nestle to pull ads. Fortnite. Bloody AT&T just a month after they came, a month after they came back, I think. Um... Yep, they're, yep they're, so they're pulling all their ads, and uh, Matt Watson is the cause of this, so if you like Matt Watson, uh, can you please leave my channel forever? I don't like you. I don't like Matt Watson. I, I, I hate him. You're probably going like, oh, what do you mean, you're only doing this because you love money. Don't get me wrong, I do love money, it's just I'm not earning any off of YouTube. It, it's going to be affecting all your uh, favorite uh, creators, like PewDiePie. Jacksepticeye, Markiplier, Ali, or Ali B, I mean, um, who else? Jack Bell, Raskum, uh, Logan Paul, oh, I'm gonna go to the finest, oh, what's that, what, what's that over there? Got, um, yeah, so, he, he, he's, he, he's been exposed recently, kind of. Uh, oh yeah, he's been exposed, uh, cause he has a twit, he, Keemstar, he tried to get him in for an interview, I'm pretty sure he went on an interview for his channel, um, and he said he didn't have a Twitter, well, he did some digging and he found a Twitter, which had some pretty noncy stuff, pretty bad, so he then got caught out, called out for doing some really bad stuff, and he is now not using his Twitter because he's a bloody skitty cat. I don't want to be. I don't want to be demonetized too early in my career. Nah, that's okay. Um, and he absolute, and he's just a complete nonce. So and the re he he doesn't care about the pedo thing. The reason he wants to do this is so he can get rid of the ads on YouTube. No one, I, I don't, at least no one that I know likes this guy, and no one that I watch likes this guy, and he wants to get rid of the ads. Uh, so, and he wants to, he doesn't care about your favorite creator and their ability to stay in their home or look after their family and stuff like that. So, if you want, so if you actually want to support your creator, I would suggest like leaving a like on their video or stuff like that so they it gets recommended more so they could sell merch so they can actually make more videos that you love. Don't worry, I'm not going to release merch, like, early on. Maybe if, maybe if you guys want me to. Maybe at... 100 uh, subscribers. <laughs> nah, nah. Uh, anyway, I'm going to cut here, get into the next part of the video. So, the next thing I want to talk about is Apex. I, talk, I touched a little bit on it uh, in my last video, saying that, I think, making you guys think that I died. Well, I, I might be dead. I might be. Uh, but, yeah, Apex. Um, now that Fortnite has pulled their ads from the website that made them big, kind of, well, Twitch and YouTube, they pulled their ads from us, or from everyone, 
Which means Apex can put ads on, meaning they can just advertise all they want and have no competition, which is going to kill Fortnite, which is even better. Um, so, yeah, I, don't worry. I'm not going to sell out. I'm not going to do what I did last two times on Fortnite. I'm not going to make two videos straight away. Um, I don't even have the game downloaded. And I'm not going to play it unless you guys want me to play it. I'm not going to make gameplay at least. Um, but it got beaten on Twitch. Uh, Fortnite got beaten on Twitch by Apex. Uh, what was it? Like 600,000 viewers to 100,000 I think. Maybe even less. It's, it's not getting. It's not going to get its popularity back. They can make the battle pass free all they want. It's not going to happen. It even got beat out by the League of Legends, which had like a hundred more than a hundred thousand, more like maybe two hundred thousand more than them. Um. And uh, yeah. So I can't give you a review on it because I haven't played it yet. So yeah. Um. It also got 25 million players in its first week, which is better than Fortnite's 10 million in its first week. Which is pretty good. Um, and then Minecraft also has... Um, also has uh, more monthly players than Fortnite, which is really good. Um, yeah, so I say this is officially the end of Fortnite being the biggest game on on bloody YouTube or Twitch or as a game. It's made millions. Yeah, it's made m probably even billions. Don't quote me on that. It's probably only made 100 millions. But Apex has officially killed it. At least in my opinion. And on to the last, uh, third and final story. Now, on to the final story. Uh, one of my favourite battles are... And this one's been going on for quite a while, five months I think now. PewDiePie versus T Series. Now you would have seen my video, probably, of me um, going to uh, a school and promoting PewDiePie by putting posters up throughout the school, kind of. Don't worry, it's not going to be the only video I do. I'm going to be playing Bitch Lasagna on my tuba later this year when I find out how to print off music. Um, I'm going to be playing that at for him at school and stuff like that, and um, uh, yeah. So it's been going on for five months or longer, I think. And if you're just coming out underneath the rock or the website you've been on and not been on YouTube at all, which if you're a teen, you must be in that two percent of the eight out of, uh, between the eight out of ten people teens that watch YouTube. Uh, you must be in the two. You probably don't... I'll give you a quick summary of it. So PewDiePie, he's a single creator. He's... He's one of those... He's... So if you... He's one of those single creators. He's he, he's self-made. Kind of like how most rappers or most song artists are kind of self-made. He's self-made as well by playing video games when it, before they were popular. And T-Series is a company that was getting 100k to 200k a day a couple months ago, at October, and they were um, projected to surpass PewDiePie in October 2018. But Mr. Beast, who is a video, very popular video creator, bought billboards in his city to promote PewDiePie. Um... Yeah, I'll leave a link in the description, or I'll make a video um, on this. If you, I'll leave a link in the description if you want to read some like quick facts about this war, or I'll make a video if you want me to go into deeper thought about it. If you want me to make, if you want me to make a video, uh, in the comments say subscribe to PewDiePie. That's how I know you want this. Um, but two things have happened today. One, you, you guys probably know who Elon Musk is. He, he's a self-made billionaire, owns Tesla, SpaceX, and helped made pay, um, PayPal. Um, he went on uh, Meme Review, which is a series that PewDiePie has, where he reviews memes and gives them a rating and kills them off. And he went on that on his latest video. I'll probably 
links, check the description. I'll put a thing next to it saying like Pew's video or Pew's channel. Uh, and you click on that, it will go to his latest video and stuff like that. Or his channel. Or Elon Musk's Twitter. Um, so, yeah, that happened. And then he also got passed. Now, I'm not, I'm not going to say he, his streak has not ended. He's been the biggest channel since 2013, and he's still probably the biggest. He still is the biggest. I'm not going to count this because it was because of an audit. Now, if you don't know what an audit is, is where they delete channels off a YouTuber's account. Now, this happened well, um, website-wide, not worldwide, website-wide. Except for T-Series. Makes you wonder, doesn't it? Um, but no, they, they only stayed number one for 10 minutes before PewDiePie's fans were gaining like 500 to 600 um, subscribers a minute, causing him to go uh, from negative 1,000 to... I'm going to have a look now. If I if you don't see a cut, it's me, it's me looking at it. He has 42,000 subs ahead of him, gaining 216 subs per minute. Now, that's a lot. That's a lot. I would be. I would love to have that kind of growth, which I don't think I am. I don't think I will be. But, um, yes, that happens. Uh, but, yeah, if you, if you aren't subscribed to him now, I need you guys to go subscribe to him. We need him to get 100 million subscribers. So, so yeah, I need you guys to go subscribe to PewDiePie so... He so he can get to a hundred million first, so you can YouTube can actually listen to us. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. If you want me to make a series, leave it down in the comments as well as you saying subscribe to PewDiePie. If you want me to uh, go into depth on the battle, um, leave a like, leave a subscribe, and check the description for all the links if you want to subscribe to people's channels down there. And I uh, hope you have a great day or night, whatever time zone you're in. Thank you.